Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hey, Kat, how did your Mm -hmm. weekend go there? Oh, you know, it was uh, like a lot of housework. Yeah, a lot of, okay. like, just getting ready, uh, you know, like you mentioned, the uh, the school year's starting, so that means Jason's back at work. And, uh, oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. Getting the house ready, meals prepped, all that stuff. Good so. old lefty. Getting yeah. ready. <laughs> yes, yes, his, his wrist is still chipped, and he's still wrapped up, and, yep, and yep. he'll probably end up in a cast, and we'll see oh, how that geez. goes. Okay. Just, but it's the other arm this time. It's not his dominant arm, yeah. so, like, you know, it'll be a, it's a little smoother this time for around. School. It's not quite so awkward. <laughs> yeah, for school, that will help. Yeah, sure. yeah. It's just like, no, stop doing that. Stop breaking. Yeah, yeah, stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. we were talking last week, go get a, a bone density test or whatever. <laughs> My goodness, something, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, and, and he'll be running around just fine i'm sure he got oh, yeah. kind of used to the like running around with one arm thing last spring so so he'll do just fine in this. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And like yeah. you said it's not the his dominant arm you yeah. know so there you go that helps a whole yeah. bunch of but speaking of back to school, it sounds like Junior's getting oh, ready to go back to the classroom. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. We did a Bodacious Bazaar this Saturday, and that was fun. That was really cool. Mm-hmm. It was so funny because I walked down there, and I was like going... You know, okay, if I see any vendors, you know, because of the way the rain was and everything, and it rained again at 6.30, and it was kind of lying with the weather report was saying and what was going on, you know, Mm -hmm. because it said it was supposed to stop at like 3 in the morning. Mm -hmm. So uh, I go, well, I'll go see what's going on. I got down there about 10 minutes to 8. And there was like four or five vendors getting everything ready, going yeah, at it. And I'm like, going, go. okay, I guess that answers that question. I'll go put the sign up on the street and it'll be just fine, you know, and everything. The tiny and, but and, mighty and for the brave. Being, it ended up a beautiful day like they said it was going to yeah. be. It ended up sunshine come out and it yeah. was really nice. And yeah. a lot of people came down and it was it was cool. Seaside Jewelry had their fifth anniversary. Uh, cool. Stuff like, yeah, mm-hmm. so that was really good for them. That was neat. Yeah, mm-hmm. of in business and then being with the events she's been with us that long too so it's oh. like it was great so it was a, nice just relaxed after that and then uh today monday when we taped this morning we went and met his teacher his new teacher miss okay. lamb and everything mm-hmm. at the school and uh he's going in the fourth grade and so we went and checked out and I, i've known her for years just didn't know what she did for a living and i've just known her through church like i was telling you and it was like it's funny because i look at her and go I know you, but like, I don't I know, know where I know you It's from. like yeah, one yeah, of those strange so, small yeah. town experiences yeah. where you know that yeah. face. Yeah. You know that face. Yeah. Be- and I always go, besides Freddy's, because mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. you always run into the everybody. Runs everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah, we ended up getting him all signed up and ready to rock and roll, so that's good. He's ready to get going, and I guess the first day is officially Wednesday. I thought it was today and everything, so... He's got a reprieve. She asked for when to want her to do the meeting. I go, well, if he's going to have Tuesday off, we might as well get the meeting out of the way. And uh, that way we can enjoy the rest. You know, he gets one more day. Yeah. One more. One more. Mm-hmm. There you go. And then it's on like Donkey Kong. Mm-hmm. So that was it. So I hope everybody got out there and had some fun. And uh, there was a bunch of stuff going on. And we got a whole bunch more stuff going on. So uh, like I said, I... Space Cadet and didn't get a hold of Dave, the fisherman, get the fisher report, but he's probably out fishing, and well, I'll get him on next week. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, hey, before we get going, though, I'd like to thank the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways, just the jeweler and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. If you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows at KCIW, you just go to kciw.org, and you will be on your own. Way well, we got one more week here. I'm getting the new schedule together mm-hmm. for next week for September, but we got some more stuff, some more music. Yes, here. there's still stuff going on in August. Yeah. Starting off at the Elk Valley Casino down at their Betty Green Center on the 31st, they're having Comedy Pow Wow. That's a Native American comedy night. Doors open at 7:30. Show starts at eight. Also on the 31st, they're hosting a rally at Elk Valley Car Show. That's from 8 to 3, featuring music by ZZ Tush and the Mighty Steelheads. And over at their Warriors Bar and Grill, they've got a music lineup. Music there starts at 7.30. On the 30th and 31st, it's going to be Hannah Paysinger. Yes, indeed. And then Cisco will be playing the 31st at Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market at 2 p.m. And then Mike Powell is playing on the 30th at Checo Brewing Co. from 6 to 8. 
Yep, the Mighty Steelheads will be playing at the 31st at Elk Valley Casino Car Show, and they'll be playing at 1 p.m. And over at Misty Mountain Brewing, music there running from 6 to 8 p.m. On the 30th, they're going to feature Lon Goddard, and then on the 31st, they're going to have a surprise guest. There we go. So that's it for the August is going out. August is, go. is yeah, we're, we're rounding out there. there. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting out of there. We're heading into September. So next week, like I said, we'll have a brand new music report. Indeed. Right again. Well, over at the Checo Library in Brookings at 405 Alder Street, they have events still going on. Let's start with their regular weekly meetups. On Mondays at 530, they have their Spanish speakers walking group. This is a fitness and conversation group for Spanish speakers. Then on Tuesdays at 11 a.m., they've got their weekly story time. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children. And then at 1.30 p.m. on Tuesdays, they've got a chair yoga class. This is a beginner's yoga class, which focuses on seated positions. Also on Thursdays at 1.30, they've got another chair yoga class. Again, that's a beginner's class focusing on seated positions. But also on Thursdays at 5.30 p.m., they have an easy flow yoga class. This is a beginner's yoga class, which includes standing poses. It is highly recommended that participants be able to comfortably get up and down from the floor for this one. And then on Fridays at 4 p.m., they have Hora del Cuento. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all led in Spanish. And rounding out some special and monthly events for the month of August, on the 28th of August at 1 p.m., that's a Wednesday, they're having their monthly free art workshop with Tori. You can join volunteer and local artist Tori for a free hands-on art workshop. Materials are always provided, and this workshop is geared toward adult artists and crafters. And then on the 29th of August at 4 p.m., that's a Thursday, they have their monthly Lego Club. Lego builders and enthusiasts of all ages are invited to a free open building session, and that takes place in the library's youth section. Again, all ages there on that program. And if you have any questions about programs, services, events at the Checo Library in Brookings, you can always give them a follow on Facebook. You can check out their full events calendar at checkcolibrary.org. You can give them a call at 541-469-7738, or you can visit them at 405 Alder Street in Brookings. Yeah, I'm going to have to put that ending down there. I'll leave that ending down there. If you're not here or something, I'm um, in trouble. <laughs> in the event, <laughs> yeah. Of it's, it's almost like I've been doing this for <laughs> 10 years and know this cold or something. Yeah, that's funny. Mm. I was just sitting there looking at it going, boy, if I was by myself, I'd be going, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't remember all that. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, Lucky 7 Casino is having an open mic night. This is happening on the 30th from 8 p.m. to midnight. This is hosted by Nathan Stone. And then Port Orford is having a Jubilee car show. That's at 423 11th Street in Port Orford on the 31st of August from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. This event will feature food trucks, vendors, music. There's going to be a silent auction fundraiser as well. And for car and vendor registration, you can go to portorfordjubilee.org. This fundraiser benefits next year's 4th of July festivities. And for more information about it, you can call 541 541- 391-2130. Yep, and then Brookings Elks Lodge is having a Labor Day luau on the 31st from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Featuring music by a cutter like the Kings, ukulele with John, emblems, dessert table, door prizes, raffle with proceeds to benefit Jimmy Quella, now drink specials, barbecue hooli hooli chicken, cornhole tournament, tickets per person are 20 or 60 for four, for tickets and info, you can call 541-469-2169. And I finally saw what was in that huli huli chicken ingredient. Uh, you want oh, yeah, what the, goes in the, the, the barbecue chicken. sauce? Yeah, and I, was, mm-hmm. I saw it on one of the, sh- the shows, and it's like, you know, yeah, yeah, it wasn't that hard to make. It didn't look Please. like it was too much to do. Yeah, mm-hmm. pretty simplified. Mm-hmm. So I'm going, I'm going to have to make some of that. Oh, yeah, 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 tasty stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to get back online, Google it, and find out what it was again. <laughs> but I saw it on one of the, you know, chef shows, and I was yeah. like going, hey, Oh, yeah. There's only like five things in that, you know, I know. Uh, simple. stuff around the house. Yeah, Very yeah, simple. Cool. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Hey, Eric, Fu quotes from sharpshooter Annie Oakley. She was born on the 13th of August, 1860. She says, even in the best and most peacefully civilized countries, many occasions arise when a woman versed in the knowledge and use of firearms may find that information and skill of great importance. And then she says, Aim at a high mark, and you will hit it. And she says, for me, sitting still is harder than any kind of work. And last but not least, she says, I ain't afraid to love a man. 
I ain't afraid to shoot him either. Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from Annie Oakley with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. That's right. Not I ain't afraid, afraid to shoot him either. <laughs> to feel some feelings, good or bad, highs or lows there. All right. Good to know about Annie Oakley. <laughs> don't mind loving him, but I won't mind shooting him either. So there you go. All right. All right. <laughs> Thought that was a funny one. That is pretty funny. The Elk Valley Casino is presenting Rally at Elk Valley. This is on the 31st of August from 8 to 3. Rev up your engines and rock out at Rally at Elk Valley. This is a car show hosted in the spacious Elk Valley Casino parking lot. It's a partnership event with the renowned Northern Knights Car Club. And this is again taking place at the Elk Valley Casino parking lot. There's lots of room for cars and admission. It's absolutely free. It's for all ages. They've got some live music lined up. They have have ZZ Tush and local favorites, the Mighty Steelheads. And for car displays, you can marvel at gleaming chrome and polished paint jobs as the Northern Knights Car Club showcases an array of classic and modern vehicles. And for food and drinks, they're going to have food and beverages available for purchase at their beer booth and food stand. Yes, indeedy. And everybody can go to that one. Mm-hmm. Usually, you know, when you say something about that, you got 21. You know, free, free, free. Free. very cool. Just... Take a whole family. Oh, yeah. Hey, then we got the Chatco Activity Center is having the Labor Day Labor of Love Potluck Barbecue. That's going to happen on September 2nd from noon to 4 p.m. Hey, this is attention to all volunteers and staff Meals on Wheels, AARP Tax Aid, Exercise Instructors, Receptionists, Dining Room Servers, and Kitchen Crew. Anybody that was affiliated with Chatco Activity Center is invited to join them on Labor Day for an afternoon of appreciation and celebration in their honor. Non-volunteers are welcome for $10 donation for a barbecue beef brisket sandwiches. You can bring your own beverages, a dish to share, something to grill if you like, but this is the part I love, but make sure to bring your own grill. (laughs) B-Y-O-G, as we said. Hey, yeah, plates and utensils, all proceeds from this event support Check Your Activity Center staff wage increases for 2025. All right. Haul out that grill for a good cause. That's right. (laughs) Haul out that grill, people. Next thing you know, you'll be grilling everybody's stuff. Yeah, yeah. goodness. All right. Tsunami Cheer and Tumble is presenting a parents' night out. This is happening at 250 Standard Veneer Road in Crescent City. This is going to be on the 6th of September from 5 to 9 p.m. And this evening is going to feature food, games, crafts, a movie, and popcorn. And ages 5 through 12 are welcome. There is a fee to participate. To register and get more information, you can go to TsunamiCheer.com. That's right. And hey, now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. G'day, cat. G'day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know there was an incident where Americans and Germans fought side by side in World War II? It's true. And here's the story. Well, during the dawning days of World War II, a small medieval castle in the Austrian Alps became the backdrop to one of the war's strangest and most unlikely battles. The Nazis had converted Castle Itter into a prison to house a variety of VIP prisoners, including a French tennis star and the sister of Charles de Gaulle. Well, by May 4, 1945, the Nazi guards had fled, leaving the remaining 14 prisoners free to leave. However... The area was still crawling with SS, and as bad luck would have it, one unit of SS was heading towards the prison to execute the freed prisoners. Help came in the unlikely form of Joseph Gangle, a highly decorated, workmarked general who had become disillusioned with Nazi ideology. When a nearby U.S. tank battalion agreed to help Gangle and his handful of troops defend the prison, Americans and Germans found themselves fighting side by side to fend off the SS troops. Well, it's the only recorded case of something like that happening during the whole war. Well, I wonder if they celebrated their victory with beer and brats. I hope you enjoyed this week's Beer Weirds with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Sometimes it'll happen towards the end of the war. It's like, you know what, I really yeah, don't, don't you know, agree with yeah. the ideology of these people. <laughs>
Yeah, let's hey, let's, let's get together up. and take care of these let's guys. Team up. Yeah, they're going to do some bad. There you go. Well, they're done. They already lost yeah. the damn war, and they're already still doing bad. So yeah, take right. care, Bennett. Yeah, I like that too. That was pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Well, the Fractured Portal VR Lounge at 128 Highway 101 in Crescent City is presenting their first Friday monthly Grand Smash Off. This is happening on September 6th at 6 p.m. This grand tournament will go until a champion is crowned. This is a double elimination tournament, and there is an entry fee, and I believe the game for that is Super Smash Bros. So if you need more information, need more details, you can call 707-460-8339. There are prizes for first, second, and third place, and sponsors and prizes are going to get posted onto their Facebook page as well. I'm glad you knew about the rest of that, too, the Smash thing. Yeah, that's good. Yes. I grew up with video games. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, the Rotary Club of Gold Beach presents Bite the Rogue, a taste of the Wild Rivers Coast. This will be happening at Buffington Park in Gold Beach on the 7th of September, noon to 4 p.m. There'll be locally sourced and made food, live music, beer garden. There is a fee for this. For information on that and more, you can call 541-251-0119. Nine. That's what happens when they only give me so much information, you know. Yeah. Can't guess the rest. No, but there you go. <laughs> hey, Queers and Allies Brookings is hosting monthly get-togethers. This month's get-together is going to take place at the Checo Library's Forest Room. And these monthly meetups are third Saturdays of the month from 2 to 4 p.m., uh, generally for youth ages 9 to 19. And this event is hosted by Southern Oregon Coast Pride. There you go. Yeah. Now, so that's been going on for a while. I just saw this for the first time in the events thing, so. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's yep. cool. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like they're marketing more. Yeah, they are marketing more. Yeah, they've contacted me on yeah. several things yesterday mm-hmm. that I got in the paper. Oh, like, yeah. And, yeah. That's all people got to do is send get it to touch. me and I can get it in. Get in touch. <laughs> that mm-hmm. easy. Yeah. Hey, yeah, coming up here on the 7th as well, the Monarch Gardens Memory Care is doing your jog your memory color run. Cat will be there running and I'll Ooh. be there. We'll all be down there. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. We're good. That's fun times there. I told Junior, it's time to get all chalked up again. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this will be happening on the 7th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And it's going to be this year at the Port of Brookings Harbor Boardwalk. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Color Run starts at noon. You can join in on a fight against Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. Spread the love and raise awareness and donations for the Alzheimer's Association. Local vendors, a beer garden, food, live music, and more. You can help make a difference. That's right. Insider of Southern Oregon is proud sponsors of this. Mm-hmm. We help Sarah get this all together we recruited some vendors this weekend and everything like that for it and they got a nice little mile run that'll go down to the best western and then comes back mm-hmm. so yes i was talking about that nice little jaunt yeah yep, nice little yep, jaunt down, the, down like, the roadway there yeah. yeah they were there at the uh, bodacious bazaar with us this weekend cool. so i got to talk to sarah and find out exactly what they were going to do with which run. is awesome i always love a good preview of a route so oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah the best yeah, western yeah, and back yeah, be heading down towards the best western and then turn around and come Super back simple. and that's a mile i guess i like it, it. Yep. I like it a lot. Yep. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it'd be great. I know you'll be there right in the front running. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good stuff. Getting ready to, to get my color on. Right. All right. Elk Valley Casino is presenting Alien Ant Farm in concert on the September 7th at 8 p.m. Alternative Rockers Alien Ant Farm are live in concert along with local favorites Snickle Fritz who are going to open the show. Tickets are currently on sale. You can get them in advance at the Points Club booth online or on the day of the event. You got to be 21 or older to attend. This is a standing only event. And the Betty Green Event Center is a non-smoking room. And they do have a warning here that unruly behavior will result in removal from the event center without a refund. <laughs> You've been in an yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Behave. You know what? Crystal finally turned me on to some mm-hmm. of their music. The Smooth Criminal heard that. And oh, yeah. And then I realized after listening to some of their stuff, I go, oh, I heard that a long time ago. Yeah, I had heard them. And I just oh, didn't yeah. know who the heck they were. So getting all the information and everything, and, and I kept forgetting to Google it and to hit it, you know, so I could listen to one of their tunes and everything. Mm-hmm. Finally did it on the phone the other day for me, and I was like, oh, okay. Well, okay, I know yeah, that. I know that, okay. guys. You know that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hey, yes, and once again, we got one more left, folks, besides another Bodacious Bazaar. The Insider of Southern Oregon Events is presenting Doctoberfest. That's right, that's Doctoberfest. <laughs> this is our version of a tribute to the Oktoberfest. It's happening at the Port of Brookings Harbor, of course. This is going on September 14th from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then on the 15th, it'll be 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. 
This is an autumn festival held in Munich, Germany that involves the drinking of beer. So there you go. We'll have two days of celebrating this favorite German pastime on the boardwalk featuring local vendors, food, live music, several local breweries. Yeah, be wearing the later hosen and already you got, what is it, the women's got, the, what do they got? The, uh, the, the Dirndl dresses. Dirndl dresses, mm-hmm. yes, yeah. Yes, which mine is in and I'm ready. I'm yes, so ready. That's what this. you picked up. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was a dirndl I'm, dress. Yeah. I'm ready to to dirndl it out. And <laughs> we later on down, down there. Last time. And um, you know what? On, on one of these future iterations, if you can get some like classic German food in there too, like we will I'll just be. Oh, you are. We are having it. Yeah, uh, Michelle <laughs> Buber's husband, Mark. Uh huh. He's going to be doing hey. German food at cool. his booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The chambers sponsoring it with us and so yeah he's coming to do that so he'll okay. be cooking it up okay we've got some food I'd coming like we're some, supposed yeah, to be yeah, yeah. i like me come. some fair some some foodie fair yeah like and we were trying way. to shoot mm-hmm. for that this year big more time. so than the brews but you know like you guys you get off with your like you know your brewery stuff like good good on ya but i want some food yeah i want some food, <laughs> food. yeah yep, yep, exactly <laughs> no no yeah. i mean like mm-hmm. i said we should have a couple of choices there so that would be great you know we really tried to work on that well we yeah. do that with all of our events we try to work on mm-hmm you know, for theme, you know, whatever, oh, totally. like, as much as we can, you mm-hmm. know, and everything. So, oh, yeah, yeah, wherever you can. That's really nice to hear. Uh huh. Really yeah, it's good. Cool, but cool, cool. I'm with you on that one. Oh, the food, I can't wait. I yeah, want yeah. Some om noms. <laughs> yeah, that's all that good yes. stuff. So. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, hey, the Gold Beach Library, located, well, in Gold Beach is the Curry Public Library. They're presenting an outdoor movie night at the library, and they're going to be screening Aladdin, the 2019 live action version. This is happening on the 14th of September from about 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. You can watch from the comfort of your car or bring lawn chairs, jackets, blankets, and pillows for outdoor movie showing in the parking lot. All movies are free, and concessions are available by donation, and restrooms are available in the library lobby. The start time might vary based on light and weather conditions, and in the event of rain, the film will be shown indoors. So you get it either way you're looking at it. You get the, yep. uh, no uh, matter plan, what. You there's get always a plan B. It's yeah. just you know it might not be a drive-in experience. Yeah, but it'll still be a movie. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how they do. I've been up there and it's pretty they modern. Have a, yeah. So they're they have the benefit up there in Gold Beach of being like really tucked away on like a quiet residential street where they don't have a lot of cars. Yeah, anybody. I've been there. Yeah. So they, and they've got this big like truss system where they actually get a big screen and project okay. onto it. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, uh-huh. I, and then there's an app or a radio thing where you have the the sound come through your car speakers. So um, oh, sweet, or through your phone, and so that's how they're they're able to do that because they they have the, the fortune of being like actually tucked away where it's not like getting like drowned out by traffic and you're right. Yeah, and they've got a nice yeah. big space that's not obscuring their neighbors or anything where they can get a big screen up there and stuff. So right. so yeah, they've got a good space for doing outdoor movies. Yeah, I, I, well, I noticed mm-hmm. the parking lot, so I could see how they could do that. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, they I've put been the there. I think up. I've been there once or twice. I yeah. I've been up at that, and yeah. it's really a modern looking. And you guys. Mm-hmm. Our libraries are really mm-hmm. slick around these parts, that's mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah, we're, we're fortunate. We're yeah, fortunate. we are modernized all the way around, looking Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Hey, we got a second Saturday sale at the Checkco Grange. This is happening on the 14th from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. They're going to have live music with Cisco and Lewis from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Vendors, for more info or to get a space, you can text Linda at 541-661-0059. So there you go. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what's happening there. So, and that's what she wants. She's send a call out to vendors. There you go. All right. Porta Pints Brewing in Crescent City is presenting a stand-up comedy night. This is going to feature Eric Escobar and Ryan McComb. This is going to be on the 14th of September at 8.30 p.m., hosted by Anthony Lloyd. And they note that there is an admission fee for this event. Yes, indeedy. And then Curry Public Library, located at 94341 3rd Street, as we mentioned, presents Memory Cafe Curry. Memory Cafe Curry will meet the third Wednesday of every month from 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. To register for the program, you can email them at memorycafe at cplib.net or call 541-247-7246. A Memory Cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss and their care partners. Care partners may include, but are not often limited to spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory cafes are designed to be a casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others in their same situation. Memory Cafe Curry will be staffed by a qualified social service provider, library staff, 
and volunteers. All right. And KCIW is seeking speakers for their Soapbox series. KCIW is giving folks a chance to speak their mind on a show called the KCIW Soapbox. Basically, KCIW offers two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. There are a few rules, of course. No cussing, no slandering, no advertising. But other than that, folks can share what's on their mind. The studios open every Wednesday from 2 to 3 for people to drop in and record. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they must tape it and then just play it. I haven't heard one yet, you know, so, yeah. It's, uh, well, I know it's on a drop-in basis, so yeah, it's just drop- get them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I have to check the ad out. I'll catch mm-hmm. one of those. Hey, then we got the game night at the Whimsical Griffin. This, this is located at 615 Checo Avenue by the Redwood Theater. Tuesdays and Fridays from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. You got Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, board games, and more. Because Vince is all over that fun stuff. Yes, indeed. All right. And then Meals on Wheels is in need of some volunteers. If you would like to do something that will make you and those you help very happy. If you would like to do something to help give back to the community you love. If you would like to help out your fellow human beings, well then, Meals on Wheels is looking for you. By delivering a hot meal to those who are homebound, you not only help someone who is hungry, but you also bring a bit of kindness into their lives, a friendly face for them to see every day, and social contact that they may not have otherwise. There are three routes that deliver hot meals to about 60 seniors on a daily basis, and each route takes about an hour and a half to complete. And uh, you can volunteer by the day, the week, bi-weekly, bi-monthly, even if it's just a day a week, a day a month, whatever works for you, every little bit helps. If you're interested in helping this cause for the community, you can contact Meals on Wheels coordinator Debbie at 714-423-9797. Yes, indeed. Good cause right there. That's for Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. And I mean, it's not like any oblig, you know, Mm -hmm. do what you want to do, what you can do. Yeah. However you're able. Yes, Mm -hmm. indeed. Hey, Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America, scouting for new troop members. Boys and girls are are invited. Troop 32 and 4032 are now accepting new scouts, as well as adults interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from 5th grade to age 17. Adults are able to volunteer as long as they're over 21 years old and are able to pass a background check and willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. They meet at Scout Hall 7 to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night, except on holidays. You can meet the troops and learn more about what the Scouts can help you achieve. Scout Hall is located at 414 Azalea Park Road in Brookings. Troop 32 Scoutmaster is Mark Haglin, 541-661-2749. And Troop 4032 is Scoutmaster Rebecca Wilson, 707-951-3647. And we just got the flying fickle finger fate from the producer, so it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producers, Ray and Tom, for all their great work making us look and sound good on the radio. And thank you all for tuning into this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can also catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, at kciw.org. And while you're there, you can check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. Yeah, we are signing off. Please support local businesses, keep it real, and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll we'll see see you out there. there. Bye. Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.